goes with Funk. Try the rush down style again. Uh, it's been working out for him. Um, again, because Ibuki is one of those characters that uh, she can just rob you with a V trigger. So that man probably wants to get as much damage as he can before the V trigger comes into play. And he has the corner control right now, really strongly. Has about a 50% lead. Nice use of the the parachute from the beat lead. He takes a sweep for it, but at least he's out of the corner. Use of V skill there. That minion creating some space. The poison bomb and the fireball. And now V trigger might come into play. Nice right, throw. All right, sorry guys, I'm back. Oh wow, the V reversal out, but the V Lee wasn't ready with the punish. And back to this neutral game. Opting to take the grab. He's in a loop right now. Nice jab check after the second grab. And the V-Trigger to get space, and he jabbed that. Nice throw tech. Good awareness from the beat lead. Oh, wow, this really? This should be the round. <laughs> the immediate V-Trigger off that, off that uh, kunai. Yeah. Good, good patient play from the beat lead. He was down most of the round. But uh, that's just the nature of uh, how, how the matchup go versus Fang. Fang has poison and, and certain tools that can kind of give him a lead early on, but uh, once you give him in the corner, it becomes really rough for him. So good awareness from the feet lead to then use his patience to uh, close out that round. And this time, the tables turn. This time, Daminion is the one fighting from a deficit. Nice anti air Charles Pierce. Has him in the corner now. Shaving that left away. Oh, wow. What a really good side switch. And again, that was too good. His stun is high, too. That minion going for some tricky resets to get the corner position. Again. Trying to keep uh, the feet knee pinned down into the corner. Like keeping the poison bomb out there. Oh, and he was saved by the up ball. Using some command dash shenanigans of his own. That mini says, you got a command that's I got one too, buddy. Now, it's not over yet because Ibuki still has a bomb out and she can get it out there. That minion, good patience, doesn't bite on the shimmies. Finishes it off with a standing short. All right, good job by that minion slowing it down there. He has a lot of resources. Maybe he'll jump on the night side of the round. No, man, no, he plays defensive. I just figured you just go in like that, you know? Nice use of the EH Rider. The EH Rider has projectile invincibility, so he got right through the fireballs and got a nice punish. So they're, they're, they're both pretty close in health right now. Um, but uh, Ibuki's sitting on a lot more meters, so she's definitely in a more scary situation. Yeah, but he's getting a lot of good neutral jump checks, and he's winning this Blitzy War right now and catching that minion reads. The beat lead opts to use the beat reversal to kind of slow down the pressure. Um, but he might have hurt his game in the long run because now he doesn't have a beat trigger at the very end. The very end. Yeah, now he has to gamble all in this beat trigger comeback. It's not going to be easy for him. That means he has the space and poison and basically bring you down to nothing. This is why poison is scary, but it brings you to nothing. <laughs> yep. So, good stuff from that minion. Secured the lead. Um, we kept the pressure up and forced a V-reversal. And when you force a V-reversal, you kind of take V-trigger out of the equation. Yes! So definitely, definitely a key to beating some characters. Round one. Fight! Let's see if the Feet Lee um, chooses to keep the V-trigger this time to try to make those comebacks. And this time, the sweep gets punished for it. And, uh, that minion is pinning him down, but uh, the Feet Lee gets out with the parachute. Minion working on lead right now. Going nice with the fire. Yeah, that Mini command that set up there. Yeah, that minion is looking too comfortable right now. He is in a set play world. Everything is working. Sun is high too. He might get stuck with that. Yeah, but he did. And 
nice little trick from uh that may, from uh, Fang setups is that they'll intentionally leave a gap and do the up fireball, so when you try to interrupt, you get hit by the bull fireball, and then they can combo you for it. So it's gently in those situations, you do like a hard knockdown just to blow up Fang. Bad EXTP from the beat. He pays dearly for it. So that minion working on a huge lead right now. Yeah, he tried to shimmy up, but the jab kind of the check. See, there you go. You went for the sweep to blow him up. He got in and dashed into the corner, but it's not working out now. Nice adjustments for the field. Uh, that minion was just holding on to his lead. Gets jumped in on, but uh, not punished too hard for it. And uh, the feet lead still sitting on V-Trigger, so he can turn this around, but he just needs to find that hit, and he hasn't been able to. And uh, just like that, that minion closes it out. Yeah, too comfortable, too clean, good stuff. See, all right, yeah, uh, yeah, that was a good match. Yeah, Fang is a good choice for that minion because he can really switch up um, the going on the offense and on the defense, and that minion has that style where he's known for being more defensive, so it kind of throws people off when he starts going in with the uh, the shimmies and uh, just the overall rush down. You have really good use of the normals, and uh, it just didn't look like the Feetly was ready for it. Yeah, good stuff to him. Uh, so you step it up next. Oh, looks like. So we got Kami, oh, it's Kami. and Frankie 3S. Yep. Frankie known in the New York scene as one of the stronger third strike players, but uh, mm -hmm. he still dabbles in Street Fighter V. Had a very good Ken in Season 1. Um, Round 1. Uh, this is not really his main game, but he still competes. He still comes out to these events. And, uh, yeah, well, like, not uh, anyone you can sleep on. Well, like, well, there's Third Strike here. Um, there's actually like an arcade room um, downstairs. Um, ran by Jose Cruz, and then and they're actually streaming at uh, NYC underscore VF. So I think they're doing Super Turbo right now. But they have like multiple Third Strike setups, multiple um, SF2 setups. They have like two Naomi's down there. Like it, it's like handy to down there. Oh, nice. Yeah. So definitely, like, if you're here at Defend the North, or if you somehow happen to watch the stream and you're here at the tournament, definitely go to the arcade room and show them some love. Yeah. Hey. It's good to be able to take a break from these new games and go back to play some some old classics. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of that lately. I've been playing a lot of classics. Um, so I think Kami's gonna go with Nakali, and I think Frankie's gonna go with Ken. Nikali. Oh, interesting. So now I guess he's playing Urian now. Oh uh, yeah, I mean third strike. Yeah, he's still going back to his 3S route, so not, definitely not a bad choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, like, I'm going to be interested to see uh, what is Yuri and uh, brings to the table. Um, Arturo, are, are they good to go? Are they? Not yet. Okay, okay. Uh, so what do you think about this matchup? I think it's even. I think Nikali has tools to zone him out and keep him yeah. out, but... Uh, yeah, and the, the Kali, like, you know, through, like, all, like, the, the nurse and the buffs, you know, he's relatively the same. Yeah. I mean, like, all well, they changed was this guidance, minus six, really. Yeah. And it should it should not have been minus four to begin with, so. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, Frankie going with Yurian, and Kami sticking to his main, the Kali. But uh, Kami also uses Yurian, so he's definitely familiar with all of Yurian's options. And he knows this matchup really well, so I think uh, he's the favorite to win right now just because he plays this game a little bit more and he knows the both characters really well. But uh, Frankie is not someone you can sleep on. He practices on the low with strong players, and uh, he's just a solid player all around. Sneaks in a jump unchallenged. Uh, Kami opted to go the Sizemo route, trying to build that V-Trigger really early on. Frankie, a little bit, um, looks a little bit unsure of how to approach right now. He's not really moving around too much. He's just kind of hanging around, neutral jumping. Um, I feel like he should go in a little bit more, kind of force an adjustment from Kami. Uh, Kami wakes up with a j standing jab, yep, and it works out for him. Gets the corner carry early, and catches Frankie trying to move. Is he going to do something? Okay. Oh, no. Messed up yep. your whole setup. 
Yeah. So right there, Frankie tried to do what a lot of Urian players do, which is wake up with uh, the, the close Aegis, because they could interrupt and in 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 attempt, and then they could get a, a combo from it. But uh, he didn't realize that he was about to be stunned, so it probably wasn't a good idea to do it in that situation. So good stuff to Kami. Um, he, he's getting the V-Trigger really early because he's building the seismos, but this time he switched it up and he just rushed them down. Going for those uh, old Brian F setups. Uh, missed time this command throw again. It happened to him in the, one of the other matches, so... Uh, not sure what's going on with that, but... Uh, really good comeback from Frankie. Wow. Just like that, Yurian could bring it back. Wow, nice EXDP right through the ages. And now it's the scramble. The jump back jab seals the deal, though. Very good jump back jab from Frankie. Good awareness. So, this is a close match so far. They're one, they're one and one in rounds. And uh, they both made some interesting adjustments. So, right, it, looks like, it looks like Frankie woke up a little bit. He's a little bit more active now, putting some more pressure. Rushing him down with the normals. Decides not to uh, try to anti-air there, and it ended up being a good choice because sometimes it can be hard to anti-air Nikali as Yurian. So uh, he's, he's working on a, about a 50% lead right now. Kami um, using those stops to get some space right now, and Frankie 3S is lurking. Like he's looking for that one opportunity to burn all that meter. And yeah, so pretty tense. Kami has to be careful because uh, if Frankie finds that hit, gets that super, it, it could be lights out. But now the match has begun. Bottom moving too. And Frankie fully loaded. He's just trying to jump out of those strings. He should. Yeah, he's mad. Trying to jump out of those strings. Like, I'm pretty sure he can interrupt and stuff, but it, it looks like he was too scared. Yeah, it's the, sometimes, you know, the threat of command grab um, puts the fear in the players, and it, it just looks like he didn't want to block too much there, and it, it ended up working up in uh, Tommy's favor. Fight. But he wasn't looking too bad up until that point. So let's see if he's able to hold it down. Um, Frankie has some really good jump back air to airs to deal with uh, Nikali's jumps. Nice dash up throw from Kami. Puts him in the corner. Goes for a couple of frame traps. Uh, but uh, Frankie's fighting his way out and uh, gets jabbed for his troubles. Nice back throw. Tommy misses DP and pays Dealey for it. Missed another DP. And this should be the round. Frankie bringing it back, keeping it together. So, you know, the last game, even though he lost, it was just, you know, a bad decision. He was cornered. Um, but his game plan hasn't been too bad up to this point. So I think he's just doing a little bit better job of not being in a bad situation. And uh, he should be able to close out those rounds. Nice crouch forward, crouch jab. And really dominating this round right now. Missed times this media and gets back thrown for it. Put himself in a bad spot, actually. Nice EXDP from Kami. He has him pinned down in the corner right now. Yeah, nice lockdown by Kami at the moment. Getting some good new jumps as well. Working those command grabs. Um, hopefully, Frankie doesn't die the ultimate meter again. Okay, there we go. Finally. You, you, gotta, you gotta show him they want to do it. You have to. Oh, the Aegis, it actually made a better situation for Kami. Yeah, the Aegis actually saved Kami. Yeah. Normally you won't say that, but... uh, That's what happened. But not there. He still got scooped. Yep. So right there what happened was Kami respected a little too much. He maybe expected an EX headbutt. Waited just a, you know, a little bit too long and got thrown for his troubles. So good stuff from Frankie. He made the adjustment, brought it back 1-1. Um, kind of cleaned up some of, some of the holes in his game. Didn't let himself get cornered too much. And uh, he tied it up. I get stuff. Ooh, nice shoulder right through the size mode. And Kami with the correct check off the four strong. Yep. Good awareness there from Kami because yeah. the four strong is actually minus. Uh, minus so he, he checked the jab and got a counter hit combo for it. Wow, nice. Crush counter stand. Brown House has the corner going. Kami looking crispy with a lot of the setups at the moment. Jumping in at all the right spots. Looking like Kami's round right now, but uh, Aegis just started, so it could get bad, but uh, it depends on what happens. If Frankie is able to get out of the corner or not. If he's in the corner, he's gonna lose. Yeah, that was a great EXDP to blow up the jump back. Good stuff from Kami, keeping him pinned down in the corner for pretty much the whole round once he got him there. 
So that's been the story of this set so far. When, whenever Frankie gets cornered, it, it gets really bad for him because Nakali makes you guess. Um, so he he probably should try to maybe EX knee or just fight his way out a little bit better. Because in the mid-range neutral, he definitely has the advantage. Sitting on a lot of meter right now, so if he finds a hit, he can probably kill. Nice EX, aware of the gap there, finally. Frankie challenging. And like he's doing a lot better this round, although he gets back thrown. So more set play world. Nice defense though. Yeah, he didn't this, get baited. Yeah, this time he didn't uh, try to throw tech on the neutral jump, which is what he lost to in the first round. Trying game. to move though, this is bad. Oh no, he's really not blocking. He doesn't want to block. And the one time he did, he got come angry. Yep. Just like that, that's the power of Nakali. Once Nakali has oh, you in the corner, you know, he can either frame trap you or he gets command throw, and you know, either one is going to lead to a lot of damage. So, uh, you know, the games where Frankie avoided that situation, he won, and whenever he got cornered, he just got steamrolled. So, yeah, well done. Good stuff to Kami, moves on. Yeah, and, and also, and also, of course, guys, this match Reno link is uh, moving on. Like I just went up a little bit again at $359. Thank you guys so much for uh, supporting. Um, of course, I want to shout out some of the uh, new donors. But yeah, wow, like a couple, like Sun, Sun Deus and a uh, Goat Face Man. Okay, $21 a piece. Um, MZ, thank you guys so much. Um, you want to use the promo code? Use the promo code DEFEND in the chat. Um, let me type it in for you. Yeah, promo code DEFEND on uh, matchtrainer.com for free $1 donation. So it's a prize pool. You want to buy some items as well? Um, Sit buying Dago's book. If you, go into, if you go into any of the Dream Hacks, sit buying some tickets. If you want food, buy some Soylent. If you want some artwork, uh, buy the Charlie uh, Street Fighter 5 Udon book. If you want a headset and mount, so um, sit or buying that in the store. Or Match Reno swag, shirts and hoodies. Everything purchased does increase the prize pool. So thank you guys so much for uh, supporting uh, Defender North. Um, also, time for some ads. Those are the wrong ones, but it's okay. There we go. Xeno Weeklies, uh, Super Smash Brothers Wii Weekly, Toss 3000. Uh, shout out to them every Wednesday. 24 uh, Orchid Street, uh, New York, New York. 10012. Skullgirls Tour. Uh, it's going on right now at this event at Defender North. Uh, SkullgirlsTour.org. You should check them out and uh, support all the various Gold Girls events in their in their tour. Signing box, uh, 277 North Avenue, New Rochelle, New York, right across from New Rochelle Metro North train station. Check them out at signingbox.com and signingbox84 on Twitter. And your chat is sponsoring JB, that, that minion, Shin, Astro Black, and Eric Kiba. Uh, PCG events, uh, 66 Fulton Street, White Plains, New York. Be sure to check them out at pcgevents.com. Uh, Breakers Revenge, well not Breakers Revenge, Regular Breakers, it's out on Dreamcast, courtesy of uh, Video Games New York, so check them out and show them some love. Last but not least, Canada Cup 2017, canada-cup.ca, CBT premiere Round event. One. And this is actually um, Genius versus, uh, give me a second. So we've been, we've been getting a lot of Junior Leo on yeah, this Yeah, getting a lot of Junior. Do you know who the birdie is? Yeah, I'm about to find out. I'm looking at the bracket. Oh, uh, it's uh, Kingman. Also. And Junior off to a good lead right now. He has about a 60% lead. Nice EX Bullhorn through the fireball there. This is his command throw, but didn't really get punished for it because Junior jumped back. And uh, this is where birdie shines. Once he has you in the corner, he starts with the command grabs. Come wow, on, nice grab. Blow it up the um, heat trigger, but it doesn't matter. Junior. Excellent play from Junior there. Full conversion on that command throw attempt. But a Kingman wasn't doing too bad once he got that beat trigger. He had him in the corner. He could have went either way. All right, nice back throw. And uh, I like Junior's strategy. He's, he's definitely really focused on trying to get the corner because he knows that that's where Ken shines. So he'll even give up a little bit of damage to get the position. All right, nice. Like, he got the space he needed. 
and the X Tatsu giving giving Ken his offense right now. And Junior's just doing Ken things. Oh, nice jump back there on the Dolphin though. Show that he's aware. Great, great awareness. Nice setup there. He did a slow fireball, dashed up into the heavy DP. And uh, heavy DP is a little bit of a better anti-air now with the season 2.5 change. So good awareness from Junior Leo using a new tool. And uh, nice pressure from Kingman. Once he got that V trigger, he knows that uh, he could rush down a little bit with uh, EX Bullhead. And he sneaked in a couple of jumps in the end, got the corner, and finished it out. Playing a lot more aggressive now. Finds the sweep. Don't know what that command grab was about, but uh, he still has Junior Leo a little bit on tilt. Junior Leo busts out with the EXDP. Uh, kind of reversed the momentum, but... Uh, that's that's kind of what he needs. He went for the complete wall carry, and of course, Bray's going to wake up with armor. Is it, is it armor? Uh, it's not armor on frame zero, right? It's, it's armor frame one. Yes. Frame one, yeah. yeah. Uh, only wait, 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 wait. Wasn't that champ? That was change, right? Um, that was EX Bullhorn, the the tap, the, re yeah. the button release move, the Bullhorn. I see, I see. Yeah. So good stuff from Kingman. He, I feel like Kingman's uh, approach to this matchup wasn't really um, using any matchup specific tricks, but it was more like uh, he just ran with the momentum. Once he got a couple of hits going, he kept going, dashing in, doing command grabs, doing some couple random EX Bullheads, and just kind of keep the the pace of the match high. And it doesn't look like Julio has been able to adjust. And he's going back with that style again. Kingman just putting his game to him. All the back row. Pretty much bodying the can. But uh, Kingman making short work of uh, Junior Leo. Though. Man, Bray does a lot of damage, man. As slow as as slow as slow he is, he hits you. <laughs> yeah, like, he's st he still has the lead. Uh, but he's about to get stunned, so. I don't think he's going to die for this. No, he's not going to die, but... Um, Junior Leo is probably going to go for a reset. He didn't. He chose to go for the damage. He, he's dead. And he should be dead now. Oh, wow. Never mind. Nice meaty stand light kick. <laughs> that, that's crazy, man. All that scaling. And Murray just took it all right back. Like one scenario on the EX Bullhead. A little bit of crazy EX Bullhead there. But uh, like I said, he's trying to keep the momentum high. Nice back throw. And that's one of those examples that I told you about. He could have done a combo there, but he chooses to back throw and try to get the corner. Oh, that's punish. where Ken shines. Yep, nice punish there. So, Ken with the life advantage right now. Oh. Dashes right under that dolphin dive. Yeah, it's a bit of a scramble, but he's still got a grab punish. And nice job by Junior punishing the sweeps and the autocorrect was there. Very good DP there. He whipped the throw, was ready for the jump, punished with the medium uppercut. Universal to deny any sort of advantage. Oh, but he catches him. Is he going to bet it or not? No, he's going to block and, and try to cross up. That was smart. Yeah. So, going a little bit crazy with the EX Bowheads, but that is uh, that is the birdie special, so. Didn't any air. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't even try to crouch strong. Yeah, the, the lack of any air there kind of cost him that round, so. He's Final definitely going to be thinking about that. Fight. Nice anti-air bullhorn. You don't see that too often because it is a slow move. And now Junior Leo trying to make the set 1-1. Got him in the corner now, going for the throw loops. Oh, nice punch there. Could have got a little bit more than that, but uh, punish nonetheless. Uh, Kingman uh -oh. switches the sides. This is bad. This is bad right now. We had the reversal immediate. But wow. so, is the e so is the EX bull. Missed times his meaty stand heavy kick. He missed times a lot. Yeah. So kind of some scramble situations going on here, but uh, uh oh, going crazy. It's crazy. I should have done the X bull head again. We would have got him. Yeah. You don't see that normal too often. Oh, the drop being quick rise and either. Th this is definitely a scramble right now. Junior doesn't want to lose, so he's kind of making some crazy decisions. But uh, they're both close. Next hit was gonna take this. Wow. Yo, he popped. Yo. Damn. Yo, you look so defeated right now. Junior is just crushed. I don't know if he got hit mid-dash or mid-command run, but uh, he is devastated. He just really couldn't recover from the momentum that Kingman was doing. You know, sometimes you got to be able to, you know, adjust to that early. If the, if the birdie player is going crazy... You gotta try to fight, do things to slow him down, and he just wasn't able to.
defeat League going back on stage. He's going to fight Kami next. So I think defeat Lee is going to go with Ibuki and... Kami will go with Nikali. I don't see why Defeatly would try any of his other characters because uh, Ibuki fights Nikali just fine. But uh, Kami does play a little bit of Urien, so he might he might do the Urien pick this time. Wow, that's crazy. You guys are calling Kami Snoop's son? We got Young Snoop versus Defeat Lee. And just as I predicted, they're going with their mains. Round one. And both of them playing off to a slow start. No, no crazy decisions from either of them because they know the momentum that these characters can get. Um, both of these characters on most people's top five lists. Uh, Ibuki usually top three and Nikali usually around the top five. Some are some top ten. But uh, both strong characters. Uh, Kami in a really good position right now. Has the corner, but gets hit. Um, the feet lead not going for the left-right mix up there. But uh, finding the standing strong into the standing short combo. Decides to go for the left-right mix up there. And uh, put himself in a position for a next hit kill. Decides to use the V-reversal. Instead of saving for a V trigger, because he didn't need it at that point, so round good two. stuff from Defeat Lee. Fight. Won that round decisively with a pretty big lead, so let's see if Kami makes some adjustments. Maybe uh, he's going for the size mode game, trying to get that V trigger a little early. And really good corner control for this, this round. Um, and I'm, I'm back. Gets the stun, should kill him. Uh, decides to save the Wow, meter. they saved the empty jump low, but he didn't get the confirm on the meter. there. And uh, Kami not using meter that round. He could have killed him two times, but he decides to save the meter. So, Final uh, round. good Fight. stuff to him. Yeah. And Kami definitely playing more aggressive this third round here because uh, he knows Ibuki doesn't have V-Trigger yet, so he wants to get as much life as he can. Wow, doesn't react to the raw command dash right in his face. He probably thought it was going to go behind him. And, uh, nice jump. Sniffs out the V-Skill and lands the cross-up. Now puts the Feetly in the corner. Nice V-reversal. Reset the situation. And this won't be the game, but it's going to put the Feetly in the next hit kill situation. So, got to be very careful now. Nice V-reversal. Nice block on that overhead from the feet. But can't block forever. So good stuff to Kami. Kept the pressure up. Nicole Once he found that corner, he just went to town. And uh, the feet really couldn't bring it back. So let's see what kind of the adjustment the feet makes. Round one. Fight. And just like that first game, they both start off really slow. Um, Defeat Lee finds the sweep. And this is one of those battles where it's a battle for space. Whoever gets the corner really gets really dominant control. But a rare combo miss from Defeat Lee costs them and gets himself cornered. So as you can see, Defeat Lee jumps over. He's just trying desperately to get out of the corner. I don't know why he's going for the damage and not for the left-right mix-up. Maybe he was too far. But uh, it looks like it's costing him. Nice V-Skill there. The 
throw. v Trigger comes to play. Nice. He knew there was a gap. Went for the super. And he might be dead. Actually, no. Okay. Very good read from Kami. Decides to block. Knew Ibuki didn't have any good options. So, blocked it out. Closed the round out. See, that's what we want to see. The left-right mix-up. It hasn't failed him yet. So, hopefully he makes a note of that. And gets the stun. Looking a lot more dominant this time. Maybe he'll go for the mix ups more often. And, but uh, B Trigger Nikali is in play now. It's a different match. Wakes up with the EXDP. Wow. Nice V reversal. Slows down the pressure. Doesn't want to be in the corner. Wow. He's still not dead. Wake up command throw. What a wild decision. Does it again, and she might be done. Wow, nice empty jump low from Kami. The Feetly wasn't ready. He just got overwhelmed. I think he was so flustered from that wake up EX command throw. Who does that? That was crazy. Kami pulling out the bag of tricks on that one. Yeah, good stuff to Kami. So, sorry, I was doing some behind the scenes stuff. Um, it looks like uh, Kami got the best of the uh, scramble in that match. Good stuff to him. Yeah, I think that wake up ES command throw was just really unexpected, and it, that's what sealed the deal for him. All right, so I think uh, I think we have enough time for like maybe one or two more sets before we switch to Tekken. Um, okay. Doesn't look like uh, I don't see uh, anybody step out to the plate, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna find out what's going on. Just give me a sec. All right, guys, Arturo's gonna go try to find a match for us, uh, and then uh, we got a little bit more Street Fighter, and then it's gonna be Tekken soon. See Spabrock talking to Pro Fluke. Both top four day players from the Street Fighter Four Days. Pro Fluke is actually here on vacation, or as in they would say in the UK, on holiday. And uh I know he's a big fan of the New York scene, so he comes to hang out with us whenever he gets the chance. Um, it's always nice to have visitors. And uh he does play a little bit of Street Fighter Five actually, but uh, it's not really his cup of tea. I know he misses El Fuerte very dearly. But um He's been using Nikali, and his Nikali's not bad. And uh, Spabrob looking like uh, the Rashid alternate costume, looking like the soccer player. It looks like they really added him into the game. Who else we got in here? All right, yeah, so we actually ended early. <laughs> that was the last match, yes. Oh, yeah. all right, so that was the last match, guys. We're going to switch to some Tekken soon.